Welcome back to another edition of Slink Paint Gaming. I am Berto, and I got a special guest with me over here. Say hi, John. Hi, everybody. All right, John Bruns is actually going to show us that ghost modification that we posted up on the forum. And we're going to fade the camera over to him here so you can see it. Say hello, John. Hey. All right, so we got two different camera angles here. We got the overall shot, and then we actually got the overhead shot. So we're going to flip back and forth between this as we go here. But John's just going to go step by step. He has the actual PDF. We'll put the links in the comments below. And if you guys um, have any questions, John's also doing the modification for you, which we'll talk about as we go through the video here. All right, so John, go ahead. All right. Um this started off right when I got the ghost. I, I snapped the base right off. That base it, sucks. I'm right sorry, of, FFG. <laughs> right in the middle, right in the middle of a tournament, and so uh, basically, I said that that's never going to happen again. And uh, I, I work in the in the racing industry, and I got uh, uh, some fabrication skills. So I just said, you know what, let's go for it. And and you and, made this, and it's simple enough, actually. For I mean, anybody can do it as long as you have the right parts and pieces. You can actually. And because you did my ghost, and like you literally did it like almost 15 minutes, half hour. I mean, we're gonna actually record this as you do it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so anyway, like to start off with, uh, you got your, your your ghost and you got your your base. We'll start off with the base, it's a standard base, yeah, uh, standard big base. Okay, and I'm gonna look for the center. The back side, the bottom side of the base, I'm going to just find the center where you would put your peg normally. Okay. And I'll take an eighth inch drill bit. All right. And, and just drill right through the center of it. And this is on the top side or the bottom side? On the bottom side. Bottom side. And you're drilling all the way straight through. Yep. All right. Now the, pl the plastic's going to be kind of... Uh, it. <laughs> Depending on your drill bit, you want a sharp drill bit because it might use, melt the plastic. It might melt the plastic. Okay. Yeah. So like sharp, sharp new newer bits are better. Okay, and that was a one eighth drill bit. All right. Uh, and then I will go. I'll step up to a three sixteenths drill bit. Okay. And just go right through the pilot hole you made. And then you you have your three sixteenths hole. So basically, you just use the small bit to make a pilot hole so it's nice and clean. Then you switch to the 316 to make it nice and bigger. Yep. All right. And then the last thing I'll do for the base, is, or second to last thing, is I'll take a quarter inch uh, drill bit because the, the rod outside diameter is a quarter inch. Okay. That, that's what I've been using. And um, so I'll drill it out a quarter inch. Okay. You drill all the way through? Yep, all the way through. And basically, the reason why you're stepping up in the bits is just because, so it's cleaner. It's not, you just don't take a, you know, that big bit right off the day one because you're, you're going to miss the hole and stuff, right? Right. Mess it all up. So, anyway, you, so you got your quarter inch hole. You might have to go back through it again after we countersink the bottom side. Um, the reason we count, countersink the bottom side is because. Uh, this bolt is a countersink, and mm -hmm. just so it's flush to the bottom side, so when you're you're moving around, it's not wobbling on on the bolt itself. Oh, I got it. Okay, so it's got that nice concave, so it sits nice and flush and secured into that thing. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> so, and that's what grips onto the bottom of the base, so the peg doesn't go all the way through. Right. Okay. So I got I have a 82 degree. You can use an 82 or 100 degree countersink. Um, either way, it'll work. Um, just depending on how you gotta you gotta countersink it far enough to for the bolt to seat properly. Okay. And I'll just I'll just start little by little. You might want to turn your drill down and just start taking a little bit at a time. And again, this is the bottom that we're doing. Yeah, right? this is the bottom side. Okay. So like your top side here, that's where your your peg would normally fit, and your base and or your base token. Mm -hmm. So I take a little bit at a time, and then just check check the fit. And if it, as long as you're as long as you're past center, or past past the bottom, you're good. Okay. Um, so, in other words, it sits flush. It sits flush. Okay. In so the, that's in the, the case. base, the seat. It's almost like a like for car guys, a, a valve seat. Okay. So 
and then I'll just take it and just make sure there's no no plastic burrs in it. Okay. So you're not really putting the drill bit in through, you're just going through where the, I got you. So you're making this nice and all clean and flush. Yeah. And that, and also just, just taking any burrs that might be in it, take those out of the equation. Okay. And then that's all for the base. So for the, ne the next thing is, is like the, the rods themselves. Um, and if you get them from me, I'm going to, I'll give you a, a four inch and a five inch and a six inch rod which if you want to run uh double ultra rubbles you can you can use a four and you can use a six and your ghosts are going to be yep and that's actually how i run my ghost i run my ghost with a four and a six and if they come up close to another ship because you're screwing this in the cool part about this is you just rotate your ghost on the peg you don't tighten it so much on the top peg where it rotates a little bit and it clears it perfectly i love that about my ghosts so if you get, to start off with your pegs, if you just, you get some quarter inch uh, aluminum rod that's 0, 65, uh, 65 thou wall, you can, uh, that's thickness. If you, if you go ahead and drill it with a, um, with a number 21 drill bit, mm -hmm. you drill through that on both sides. You don't have to go far. You can go three quarters of an inch down. Okay. And... Because you're gonna, the threads are gonna go only about that far anyway, only about a half an inch. Okay. So all you gotta do is get like the bolts. They're a 1032 or a 1024. Uh, that's a number 10 screw. As and long as you match the threads inside the bolt, you're good. Yeah. Now okay, there's, okay. Uh, it's, it's coarse thread or fine thread. Your your preference. I prefer uh, 1032, the the fine thread because it just it tightens up better, um, less chance of cross-threading the bolt or anything like that. Okay. So, um, but you take a tap, uh, like a 1032 tap, and then yep. you you tap it down. I, I didn't bring my tap tonight, but it's... Those are already pre-threaded pre them. These are okay. already pre-done. Okay. Oh, let me spread it. There you go. And you see the threads. Uh, yep. Yeah. I can see them. Yep. Perfect. But anyway, um, so you have your rods, and you, have, you, you do both ends, and then that'll sit... And because it, it's 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 going to go all the way, f um, almost all the way through. It's all, yeah, it could almost go all the way through, but it 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 won't. It's it's the quarter inch is a real tight fit. And then you'll take your your screw and you'll just you'll screw it in with the countersink. So that makes it flush. And then so that's the base. Voila. Um, Okay. So from there, um, that takes care of the rods. You're going to do all all your three sizes of rods. And then the next thing is... The ghost itself. The ghost itself. All right. You're going to take a $50 ship, and you're going to drill a hole right through it. Nice. Why? <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> because the design of the original peg system is... I'm sorry, FFG. It's horrendous. I don't know what you guys would... You, what you guys were doing that day when you engineered that. <laughs> and honestly, with, with FFG, I mean... If you do snap your base off, you're, they'll they'll fix it. They'll yeah, send they'll you, say, they'll they're send actually really good about that. Absolutely, yeah, their customer support is really 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 good. I just didn't feel like I just felt like doing it my way. I just no, honestly, you know what it is is I kept on pulling my ghost right off the thing. It didn't sit right, and like in that that bottom where the the three prong thing connects to the base that never sticks. It, it doesn't stick, and then also you're sitting here. Like the this base here that it has a little bit of a different design. Yep. And when it sits in there and it seats, it's fine until you until it moves just one time, and then the next time you move it, it's boom, it falls over. And then you hit another ship, and then the game state's yeah. gone, and people get upset. Yeah, people get upset. That's <laughs> uh, one thing that I was I was finding. I mean, we already have enough hard enough time trying to not not bump, bump ships. <laughs> so all right, so then with the ghost, you'll see. You'll see you, the original peg is right here, mm -hmm. and you, um, if you take out your, your eighth inch drill bit, and you know, you, you'll see it, it, it almost centers itself right in the center. Right in the center, almost starting off, and you just chuck it up in the drill, 
and just drill drill through all the way through it the uh, the peg might the plastic clear peg might what's already in the ghost it'll all, it'll it'll probably pop off by the time you get see right there and it, it just it just took it comes off right, right there. off but now you're still using that bit to go all the way yeah, through I'm still using that bit and you can see it's still the plastic's still there and you just try to keep it as straight as you can it, it's not too too bad if you if you're off a little bit right now and if you see it right now I mean it's already it you can tell that you're, you're gonna drill right right through it and you can tell right there that you've only, you've only taken out the clear plastic right at that point um, so make sure your drills long enough in your drill to go all the way through at this point because this is this is probably the most critical part is just getting making sure that it is straight and I double check um, I double check up down left right to make sure that it's level because the biggest part is now you're gonna go through the top of the ship and that's gonna be yep. your final hole where the top of the screw is gonna actually connect everything so I'm looking pretty looking pretty good right there and just go slow. And if you're, and if you, uh, see, so you can see right there, you, there's two lines right there, and I pretty much split split the two lines. You've been doing this a couple of times, uh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> so right there, you've got your you got your pilot hole, and your bottom hole is ready to go. Okay. So now we'll switch to um, a three sixteenths drill bit. Now, this is very important, guys, this next part, because this yep. piece and then the next drill piece, these are very important because if you don't do this correctly, you just basically made a, a $40 ship uh, lawn ornament. Um, so we got the 316 drill bit. We'll go ahead and drill it through the bottom. Um, You might have to back, like, just put your drill in reverse and back it out if it gets hung up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now you've got you've got your three sixteenths hole in the bottom, and now you need to go through the top with the three sixteenths. And this is all the way through. All the way through. Okay. And I still try to maintain your straightness, and you'll see it'll go real quick. Okay. All right. So there's your three sixteenths hole. Now, when you when we go to the quarter inch, do not go through all the way through. Um, keep your three sixteenths hole at the top, and just drill the bottom only. So you're only drilling the bottom with this big, large bit. That's it. Yeah, just the bottom. Just the bottom. And you can kind of see as we're going through it that. A quarter inch is pretty much going to be that that circle mold what they had in there to insert the base peg in because they glue that inside there. Anyway, so you got your quarter inch hole in there, and now you need to see if you need to check and see if it fits. It's probably not going to fit perfectly right now. Um, you can either take your drill, go up to a higher speed. And, and uh, run it in. Work it a little bit. Okay. And just let it slowly go in there. Work, work, work it in and out a little bit. And again, don't go all the way through. Just the bottom side. There you go. You kind of take your take your drill and kind of lightly move it around a little bit. You see how you're just taking little little shavings off. It's just oversizing the hole a little bit. And then you check and see your fit again. And it's almost it's almost there. Yeah, it's it's pretty much there. Now you'll see here. Um, you'll see here you got a little you needed to have a little bit of wiggle room in that bottom to to uh, get the bolt in perfect. Oh, I saw it was a little off like that, so you got to take it back out and make that just hole a little, little bit, there, just a little bit off. Okay. I mean, you you almost need to oversize this, uh, like a sixty fourth more. And I I have a, 
a 1764th drill bit, but um, I mean, you could you could do a 17. Uh, it's a 1764th drill bit. You can use it, but you don't have to. I'll I'll do it for this one because it'll show. I showed what you need to do, moving her around a little bit. Walking to, around. Okay. But I think this this right here just saves a little time, and that just takes that takes that extra plastic out of it. Okay. And it goes right. And it goes right in, and then you got a little bit of maneuvering. Now, because you did not drill out that top hole, that that's how the rod doesn't go all the way through the ship, and that's how the sh ship stays at that height. Yep. And then I just take the uh, I just take the bolt and I'll run it in, and you kind of like before you put it in, you just kind of see, make sure you're close to the hole, and you are. I mean, if you can see it, you're pretty close, and it'll center itself. Once it starts, then, and after you do it a couple times, it's 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 very easy. Grab my uh, Allen wrench. Sometimes you, you know, like you, you might need an Allen wrench. Um, Allen wrench to tighten it up, and that's I have the Allen wrench, and that's what you, I usually use to take it off and on the, off the base um, to make sure so that if I want to change the different heights um, or if I want to store it in my box, I always keep that Allen wrench with me. And you can use like a. Um, one of those little hex, little hex head, little bits, because you don't you don't need the whole wrench, but you just give it finger tight pressure, and there you go. I mean, once you put it on, once you put it on, I mean, it it it, it takes a lot for it to knock over. The higher it goes, it it, it can knock over. The easier over. it does get, but. It's it's not falling off the base. It's not knocking over any other ships. I mean, that's the most important part. Is yeah. that right? You know. And I mean, as far as the height, I can I can show the difference in the two heights. Um, so like, if I was going to run double lothal, I just run my six inch peg and the four inch peg in the other ghost, and you stick that in there, thread it. And you don't have to worry about the peg, which way, <laughs> which way the firing direction is with it. You just throw it in, let her eat, and then you set that right there. Find your find the threads. And the six inch. I have a six inch and the four inch, and it it, no. it the six inch is huge. It towers yeah, over most four. all yeah, large yeah. base ships. Right. Um, the only thing that might interfere now is with the big old bat wing stuff. But guess what? It's still when the bat wings are wide open. It still towers over it. Yeah, I spent the first yeah he, I, I'm a big fan of the ghost and. Yeah, let's move. Let's move that box right there out of the way so we can see the different angle. But you guys can see that. And then here, grab one of my K wings. And here's all the different sizes: three peg, uh, two peg, or three four peg or two peg. So you can see the different size. That I have there. So my K, and that, and my that. smallest K wing's got two pegs there, um, and so you can see the height difference there. And so, like for instance, if like let's say the K wing's coming up behind here, and you just oh, it's gonna bump. Well, you can just move it. That's the best part. I love doing that. And you're fine. You don't have any issues there. Perfect. I mean, it it, it was. It was literally just a pretty, pretty easy, simple fix to keep me from raging at the tournament. <laughs> no, yeah, especially you know, your opponents too, when you're knocking their ships over as oh, the ghost yeah. falls over. All right, so you got, um, so you have the pegs, you have um, the drill out the bases and stuff. So, um, what are you selling? Um, so we can do this two ways. This is the tutorial to show you guys how you guys can do it yourself. But a lot of people have already shown interest and asked for. How you guys, um, if you wanted to sell the pegs pre made, or if you want to, if they just send you the ship and you do everything and they come home, 
uh, and they get a package in the mail, and their ship's all done for them and ready to go. So what, um, if you were doing the pegs by themselves in the hardware, what do you sell? So what do they get, and what are they selling for? And then if you were doing the machining, what, how does it all work? Um, as far as, as far as like the, the pegs by themselves, I will sell the pegs and the bolts, which is the three different sizes, the six, the five, and the four. Um, I'll do them for 10 bucks plus shipping. Plus shipping, 10 bucks. All right. Um, and we're going to put links down below in the description on where you guys can get that. And then as far as, uh, as far as doing it, doing, uh, me doing the work, mm -hmm. Uh, send it, send your ghost to me with a base. And like, if you send two, send two bases and I'll do, um, all the, all the rods, which if you do two, two ghosts, then I do two of one, each. I do two of each. I okay. mean, that way you have plenty of stuff, plenty of hardware. If, I mean, sometimes you lose stuff. I yep. mean, it happens. And do they get the, and they get the Allen wrench or how, what are they? Allen wrench. I, I, if I do a bit, a bit will do just as good. Just a little, one of those little hex head bits. Yep. I, I can throw those in. Those aren't those aren't horribly expensive. And and how much for to do one ghost and all that includes all the hardware and drilling out the base and what have you. And now, um, how much does that include? Well, if you send me one ghost, like forty bucks, you ship it to me, and the forty dollars includes shipping it back. Shipping and handling includes the rods, all three sizes. Mm -hmm. Includes the base being drilled out. Includes your ghost being drilled out. All for forty dollars. Actually, that's not a bad deal. That's actually a great deal. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put the links in the comments below. Um, again, everybody was asking about this because they seen my ghost, they seen John's ghost on our on our video stream because John plays in our local area here. Um, and he, we just and everyone was asking about it, so we just wanted to share it. But then everybody started asking, John, can you do this for me? And that's kind of where we're at today. So it's uh, multiple options. How you guys want to do it, we'll put in the comments below. Plus, I mean, um, I'm going to be at Nova. Okay. Um, I mean, just hit me up before. Um, and we'll put all your contact info down below sure. in the description of the video. And, um, I mean, that, that'd be easy. It'd, it'd help on shipping and handling. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty flexible with everything. So. All right. Anything else? No, I'll just go out there and, and, and sling five dice at range one. Mm, yes. All right. Let's do this. Let's wrap this up. All right, if you guys like that, definitely subscribe to our channel. Also, give it a like on the video there. John just wants to help out everybody, and but people have been asking if you know if they can send the rods to him or to you know to yourselves, or if you want the ship to be modified by him um, completely, he um, he'll definitely do it. So all the links we'll put them in the below. If you guys have any questions, definitely let us know and leave it in the comments. He'll be checking that out. All right, thanks guys.